But yeah, in case you're not familiar with this game chat, um, I guess a brief uh, summary before the stream starts. This is essentially... Oh wait, I forgot my camera. So this is essentially a uh, gotcha game. Uh, the gameplay is a third-person shooter. I did try and also streamed the closed beta. And uh, yeah, looking, uh, looking forward to uh, this uh, pre-mission kickoff. So I pro they'll probably be going over what we can expect for the launch and um, stuff probably moving forward in the near future for the game. So excited, let's see. by our side. Hi there, Agitant. I am Eden, an intern from the Heimdall Logistic Department. Okay. Welcome to the Heimdall Permission Kickoff. Today's topic, the open beta for the 3D sci-fi RPG shooter, Snowbreak Containment Zone. Here you can get the open newest beta. combat intel. Okay. Starting today, I'll be hosting this meeting. It wasn't easy to get this opportunity, so I'll do my best. I would appreciate everyone's support. There are already over 3 million per registrations for Snowbreak Containment Zone. Yggdrasil has put together some amazing per registration rewards for you. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to download the game and claim your rewards, Agident. Snowbreak Containment Zone will officially launch on 20th July 2023. The game supports both PC and mobile platforms, and data can be exchanged between the two. Yep. The game is now open for pre-download. Adjutant can visit the official websites, the App Store, the Google Play Store, the Epic Games Store to pre-download the game. I will inform Adjutant of any other relevant information through the official Snowbreak Containment Zone account. Please keep an eye on it. Next, I'll introduce the company and your responsibilities, Adjutant. Let's work hard together. Mm-hmm. You probably still remember the Containment Zone Aleph, right, Adjutant? Three years ago, giant humanoid titans descended, triggering massive devastation. Yeah, the descent stole my dream from me, too. But don't lose faith! What? What? You want to know what my dream is? I... I want to keep that a secret for now. <laughs> uh... Alright, getting back to the topic at hand. After the Titans disappeared, they left behind a large amount of Titan, leading to several various disasters in the aftermath. You woke up three years after the descent and returned to Yggdrasil Adjutant. You joined the Heimdall Force, the first armed group to fight against the Titans. Your mission is get into the containment zone Aleph, face of Titans and other foes, and uncover the truth. The Containment Zone Aleph is a closed district established by Yggdrasil to prevent oh, the spread of Titan. cover invasion. now. It's also where Ooh. you will I, be I, That was one of the things that I was uh, kind of hoping that they would do. Please be aware because in the closed beta, there was no cover. The so yay! Zone Aleph is extremely a for cover. Complex. You won't be facing only Titans. You will also have to deal with various forces Reference with their own Viking mythology. These are the Coyotes, a group of armed outlaws active in the containment zone Aleph. They are mainly made up of scavengers, individuals suffering from juvoses, and opportunistic drifters who wander around the containment zone Aleph. They have strength in numbers, all wear unique masks, but they are very disorganized. If you happen to run into them, well, you know how to drag them off. These are the Adventists, oh, a fanatical such... religious cult Fight. that worships the Titans. They see the murderous uh, Titans as gods, and in return, any organization who challenge the Titans is... are regarded as heretics. They Bye. frequently sabotage action taken by the Heimdall Force. They even ingest Titogen, making them polluted to varying degrees. If you're unlucky enough to run into them, please be careful. You're an ad These what? Are, uh, the Why? light chasers. How should I put it? You know how some teens go through a rebellious phase? I'll tell you a secret. A lot of them are the Yggdrasil higher ups kids. So they have the high tech equipment developed by Yggdrasil, like drones and robots. 
exercise some restraint if you happen upon any of them. I mean, protect yourself, but try not to hurt them. <laughs> I think they'll reflect on what they've done someday. Even a little sapling sprout crook branches, they can grow into towering trees with timely pruning. Hmm. That's what I read in my botany textbook. To be honest, I sometimes want to try being a rebel. Just like them. I mean, the tide and descent juvises, those things can get really depressing, right? Uh, well, never mind. The situation in Containment Zone Aleph is precarious, but don't worry. As a member of the Logistics Department, I'll do my best to support you in your work, Adjutant. <laughs> Just Adjutant. kidding. Reliable members of the Frontline Heimdall Force will help you with your missions. Mm -hmm. Whew, feel free to take a break, Adjutant. I need some time to fetch information on the members of the Frontline Force. Oh, Adjutant! Here are the exclusive rewards for this kickoff meeting. You can take a screenshot, is save she the it, and redeem game? the Probably. rewards after the server is launched. Friendly reminding, be quick to claim your time-limited rewards as soon as possible. Yeah, you can uh, get this reward when the game goes live tomorrow. Is something supposed to happen tomorrow? The game goes live, pretty Sorry much. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let me introduce you to the members of the Heimdall Force. This is Acacia. I'm Acacia. not really different from you guys, right? She's from the past. I know, sounds a bit vague, right? She used to be a special forces. She's great with a pistol or cold weapons in a close combat. Acacia underwent induced hibernation after suffering from juvosis, a disease that couldn't be cured back then. She wasn't awakened until now, 30 years later. I but for think a second, it was already would be a live. great teacher <laughs> if you're interested in learning more about history. I mean, the title kind of. Yggdrasil has developed alternate it, forms but, for a few yeah. manifestations, including Acacia's new form, Kaguya. These alternate forms can comprehensively straighten manifestations' characteristics Ooh, and okay, help so maximize that's her five -star their power. Version. Kaguya was designed based on data stored in her hibernation cryo chamber. It's an alternate frost damage form tailored specifically for Acacia. Those years spent in cryogenic hibernation seem to have left in the close beta. Understanding there were only of temperature and time. four Kaguya's five star form versions of characters. is characterized by frost and slow effects. After using a standard skill, Kaguya throws a flying Jogen moon dart that will orbit it. The target but it seems by like the dark, for launch will they will have slow more, to which is good. suffer from frost damage. When using its support skill, Kaguya will throw a Kagen Moon Dart forward to frost damage the enemies. When using its ultimate skill, Kaguya will throw a Crescent Moon Wheel, creating lunar eclipse storm in the target area that sucks in enemies and deals frost damage. Mm. Paired with the frost attribute pistol, Pine Aurora. Kaguya's strength can be enhanced even further. When you encounter a larger number of enemies or have strong mobility, you can ask Acacia to help out. Like the English voices so far. Even From what I've heard Kaguya in the close beta, strong, they, most of them are pretty Acacia good. Acacia doesn't really seem to like it. Oh, I've heard of an Eastern legend called the Tale of the Bamboo Cutter. In the story, the beautiful Princess Kaguya refuses to get married. So she orders her five desperate suitors to search for five rare treasures. Is Acacia copying the princess? If we want her to use Kaguya, do we have to search for something she wants? <laughs> Still, compared to Princess Kaguya's five impossible tasks, it shouldn't be too hard to bribe Acacia. If she hmm. doesn't want to use Kaguya, you could try giving her a vintage game console or a retro anime figure. Maybe? This is Yao, a sniper who left the military to join the Heimdall Force. You working hard, or hardly working? <laughs> uh, as for why working she hard. left, I don't want to talk about people behind their backs, but you can look into it yourself, huh? Adjutant. <laughs> but don't let that change your opinion of her. She's an experienced vet. 
She understands the importance of safety and is great Taking at handling a nap in the middle of the battle. <laughs> Everything is much more relaxed here than it was in the military, but Sleeping if you job. don't keep an eye on her, Yao will totally get fired for being late and leaving early all the time. Don't let it come to that, Adjutant. Good thing. It's a good thing the rifle oh, didn't fire oh, off when she dropped it because it was pointing at her head. It's a alternate form for Yao. It's called Winter Solstice. Winter Judging Solstice from is Yao's fun. data, she has excellent resilience, but her offense is on the weaker side. Winter Solstice helps improve Yao's combat power for a short amount of time. It also allows for the use of her burning moment. When using its standard skill, Winter Solstice loads a special bullet that will detonate upon contact with the target, dealing thermal damage. It will deal additional thermal damage if it hits a weak spot. When its support skill is used, Winter Solstice launches its target up into the air and deals thermal damage. It will also throw out a trap that inflicts enemies with Scorch. The trap will intermittently deal star? thermal damage, um, and I'm it deals still... thermal damage. I mean, it, I guess it depends if we can choose like the five star or if it's RNG. When its ultimate skill is activated, oh, wait, I think, I think enters you can. a special state and equips new solar storm. New Ooh. solar storm only has five rounds of ammo, but its bullets deal thermal damage when hitting a target. Repeatedly hitting the same but like, part uh, can increase damage dealt. So far, Yao yeah, is looking to be up, really fun. The special state will end. Paired with a Space Cowboy Thermal Attribute Sniper Rifle, Winter Solstice damage can be increased to new heights. In her Winter Solstice form, Yao is like the sun in winter, simultaneously warming allies with her light and scorching enemies with her fire. <laughs> Other than the two I just mentioned, there are several more manifestations waiting to meet you, Adjutant. Let's get to know them, too. Alright. A reason to fight? Sure. I've got one. Oh, that's life. Of course, you've never seen a star as big as I am. Was. Benny. Send me all the data you have. I'm glad to Frithia, I believe, like, is this. also a good pick to get because she's the only <laughs> assault rifle this unit. Manifestation At least based on what I played in the, the various missions uh, in the complex environment in the close of the beta. containment zone Aleph. Let me announce a big thing, Adjutant. There is an opportunity to invite a powerful operative among them to join your team. Complete the main story normal level, chapter 5, stage 12. Use one of the five orange tier orange operatives for free. More rewards are waiting for you, Adjutant. Please Yay. remember to download the Snowbreak Continuum But yeah, like from, like, because like there's a lot What's of wrong? units that have submachine guns, shotguns, sniper missions? rifles, uh, pistols. But then, like, uh, Fritia is the only system. assault rifle. It's Unless, of course, they introduce another one. It can simulate battlefields and enemies for special But training. that was based on the close beta, so I don't know. The system know. offers different difficulty levels, so you can try it out based on your individual needs. Not bad, huh? You'll be way more confident on missions if you are familiar with the battlefield and enemies. Okay, time for a break. Here is the mm -hmm. second batch of exclusive rewards. Remember to claim them in time after the game launches, Adjutant. Yep, that's the second batch. Bosses so seem so in sync with the environment. <laughs> so you can't forget nah. the containment zone Aleph can be dangerous. So you can't forget to maintain your weapons, Adjutant. You can I, I kind of find the, the kind of cool. Firearms. Now, whether good modifications it can optimize your, your shooting experience and make you more a lot in combat remains to be seen. I didn't get You'll that far. You'll encounter all kinds of monsters, different manifestations with unique personalities, and variety of enemies during your work in the containment zone Aleph. Yggdrasil's newly developed archive system will organize all of that information. Hmm. Use the system to deepen your understanding of their <laughs> operatives and enemy uh, After all, if you know the enemy and know yourself, yeah, there's a, you there's will a not hear the results of um, battles, right? There is a lot you can do After to upgrade characters and do customization. Combat, you can take the problem, I feel, it takes a little bit too long to get everything. 
when I say everything, I mean like all of the systems unlocked. Much crazier. And like you get the weapons, the weapon attachments, the secrets are concealed. The gear, the gear uh, attachments. So it's are you uh. the weight of the battlefield? I feel like you it takes to too sure long. To like the the, the, the tutorial is downtime. too long. Something like that. Remember to rest up after you finish. So your break is releasing tomorrow. Yes. This is the base. You can da it you can pre-download it on uh, the App Store, the Google Play, right or get it hall. on Windows. Each operative has their own room. Ooh, and there are public okay. areas where everyone can get together and hang out. What do you think? It's pretty nice, right? Mm. Here you can gift furniture and other interior items to members of the Heimdall Force. I don't know if that was in the post beta. I don't think everyone. I was able to see that. You can also this interact feature. with them and make memories of your own. Remember to come to the base after work to kick back and relax. Members of the logistic department collaborated with the equipment development and other departments to improve and enhance all aspects of your day-to-day -day work. Please take a look at the enhancement comparison below. Non-chibi dorm, yeah. I'm so glad that there's cover now. That was that was one of the that was one of the things that um Like, I, I was hoping for. It's like... Like, the AI could do it. Why couldn't you do it? So, AI... Enemy AI improved. Okay. Oh, they look a lot better. Okay. Nice. Yeah, they, they, they've definitely improved it, I think. But of course, it'll depend, really, if I get into it with the... Uh... Based on my experience with... Oh, it's nice that there's more cover. You're gonna need that, Idris especially that they added the has also cover system. developed and implemented a multilingual apparatus. The in-game text supports 10 languages, while the voiceover supports 3 languages. Editants all over the world can easily communicate with okay. the members of the Heimdall Force. Can't go on a mission when I'm dressed like this. Yeah, the main menu... If you run into any slightly problems, different. Okay. please direct nice. your feedback to the logistic department. We'll listen closely, make note of your opinions and suggestions, then make changes as soon as possible. On behalf of the Heimdall Logistics Force, I, Eden, promise to provide you with the highest quality logistics support editant. Well then, let's take a break. Have a look at the third batch of exclusive rewards, editant. Yeah, when, it, when, it's, when this starts tomorrow, uh... Those are, that's the first thing I'm going to do. Well, of course, we'll probably have to go through the tutorial. Then we get to the part where we can use the codes. <laughs> uh. Oh, let me check the time. The next 19. meeting is about to start. I guess it start. depends on the time zone we as well. We don't have much time, so let's finish up. To celebrate your arrival, Yggdrasil has invited some VIP guests for a welcome party! Ta-da! I... I wow. love watching the live streams! <laughs> They're starting early! And I heard... There will be also merch base on the Heimdall Force members like Fanny and Life! Uh, I got a little distracted. Uh, just Anyhow, us later tonight. Uh, no, sorry, did I say tonight? Sorry, tomorrow. Like tomorrow. To the releases tomorrow. The official Snow Break Containment Zone account. Adjutant, please remember to keep an eye on the official account. Show, uh, the 3D sci fi RPG the codes. shooter Snow Break Containment Zone. I'll also put them on the Discord. So when the stream goes live, July, it's easy to find. 2023. Both mobile phones and PCs are supported. You can visit the following sources to pre download. Participate in the event and log in daily to earn the exclusive rewards. It will be sent to your in-game mailbox Ooh, okay. after open beta is launched. <laughs> Looks like we will see each other again soon, Adjutant. I'll be waiting for you at Yggdrasil. Well then, 
The first Heimdall permission kickoff has come to a close. Oh, okay, Aim that's fate. done. Fight by our side. Agent, yeah, there's the global release on the 20th. Again. Yay! Okay. So technically it's July 19th, 10 a.m. Wait, what? Oh no, that's the stream. <laughs> that's the stream time. My mistake. <laughs> this game good. I enjoyed it. Uh, I was able to try the closed beta. I did enjoy it quite a bit. I do have some concerns here or there, but like one of them that was addressed like in just in this video was the the enemies could use cover, but we could not. Or I don't know. I was probably missing something. But uh, nice that they added uh, the ability for us to take cover. It reminds me of um, other third-person shooters like uh, Gears of War, uh, The Division. So I'm I'm excited. Might eventually drop it though, so you can pick up Reverse 1999. The problem with picking up Reverse 1999, there is no release date yet for the global version of it, which is I find odd. Like there's like I mean I'm is that right? Because, like, I haven't seen any info on there being a release date for Reverse 1999, even though there is uh, English uh, voice acting. British uh, voice acting. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that was the pre-mission kickoff. I'm excited. I am so excited for the stream, uh, for the launch tomorrow. I will be streaming it, so I hope you'll join me for that stream. Okay, I'll just be ending this. So if I upload load this to the YouTube, this is where I cut off the video, all right? So if you watch to this point on the YouTube video, thanks for watching.